Hello, and welcome to Introduction to Geology. My name is Paul Eric, and I teach physics, astronomy, and geology at Ozarks Technical Community College in Springfield, Missouri. And today, we want to do a review for the Unit 1 lecture exam. And so this is going to cover in your textbook the uh, topics from the prelude, uh, Lesson 1, Lesson 2, and then Lesson 3. So if you are uh, watching me uh, just to uh, look at the different lessons, then go on to Lesson number 4. And uh, so this particular set of videos is only for my students who need to review for their lecture Unit 1 exam. Okay, so you're all gone? All right, so this is just my students now that are watching this. Okay, so let's start with the prelude, uh, just what is geology, and this corresponds to, in your textbook, the prelude, and there isn't a whole lot from this particular uh, chapter of your textbook that you're going to need to know. Okay, so for example, you're not going to need to know uh, any of these uh, different uh, definitions. Okay, and then as the course progresses, you will understand why you should study geology, but there isn't going to be any uh, questions on the exam over this material. And then similarly, uh, nothing about the basic themes of this course is going to be on the exam. So now you should know, however, the names of the five parts of the Earth system. So the uh, Earth system consists of the geosphere, which is the solid part of the Earth, and then the biosphere, which is the part of the Earth that contains life, then the cryosphere, the part of the Earth that is frozen, uh, the atmosphere, the gaseous part of the Earth, and then the hydrosphere, the liquid part of the Earth. Okay, then you should also know the steps in the scientific method. So the idea uh, of what is the scientific method used for, and then what are the steps involved in the scientific method. So that you should know that the first step in the scientific method is to make an observation, and then that observation is going to then provoke some kind of a question. Then you're going to have an answer to that question, which is going to be your hypothesis. And then you're going to test that hypothesis using an experiment. And then if the experiment fails, then that means that you need to redo your hypothesis. And then do the experiment again. And then uh, even though if the experiment does work, it does not mean that that hypothesis is correct. It just means that that hypothesis worked for that particular experiment. Okay, you should also know these definitions for the exam. So what is a scientific fact? What is a scientific hypothesis? Okay, what is a scientific law? And then you should also know what a scientific theory is. Okay, so those are the things from the prelude that you should know for the Unit 1 exam. All right, so we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna spend quite a bit of time on lesson number one, the Earth in Context. So I'll see you in just a moment. 